everyone welcome to this month's edition of worship and therapy it's good to have you on this space this is a place of refreshing where you get to unwind and then just pour out your hearts and then refresh this is a safe haven for you So, um, have you ever been in a situation where you feel so stuck and then everything feels tight and it's just like as though you are just in the midst of it, there is no way, there's so much noise and you're just like, when will I come out of this situation, how will I come out, you find yourself worrying, you are so uncertain probably about the future, what the future will hold. Or you're just anxious about like probably the situations around and you've tried your possible best and in fact there are some of the things that you're worrying about and there are things that you cannot even change so many times we find ourselves worry so much about things that we cannot change and then in that situation where we are just so anxious we're so uncertain we begin to worry Right there, in the midst of that chaos, God is actually speaking. God is speaking in the midst of the chaos. He says, be still and know that I am God. But because there is so much noise, imagine this one is talking, you don't have to just, like, there's just so much noise. Okay, so silence is you shutting out external noise. And then stillness is shutting internal noise so when god says be still and know that he is god so it is only when we are still that we are reassured of god's promises for our lives even in trying times even in trying situations so as i'm singing this song i just want you to keep an open mind that every 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 noise of fear every noise of doubt every noise of uncertainty every noise of anxiety every noise of insecurity will be drowned actually and then you will hear the voice of the lord speaking clearly to you in the midst of the storm hallelujah oh silence the noise in my mind lord and open the eyes of my heart I want to see you, Lord, I want to see you, oh, silence the noise of my fears, God, silence the noise of anxiety, silence the noise of my doubts, God. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you. Silence the noise of insecurities, silence the noise of my doubts, God. Silence the noise of anxieties. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Silence the noise of my failures, Lord. Silence the noise of defeat. Silence the noise of my worries, God. Open the eyes of my heart and help me to see you. Help me to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as I. Sing holy, holy, holy as I sing holy, holy, holy. I want to sing. 
For some of us, it is the voice of failures, the voice of defeat, the noise. That noise is so hard and it's just so loud and that's what we keep hearing. So imagine a student who keeps hearing the noise of failure. You've not even written the exam, but you failed in your mind. But God says, be still and know that I am God. So it's in that process of stillness that you even be able to understand or assimilate. Okay, so probably because you've had... Okay, I supposed to share this but then so last semester something happened and then I was very sick during exam period and my results came out it was fine no but compared to the previous ones that had been keeping okay so I had C's and then I, I never had a C in that department before since I joined in and then I was just so worried that this one I was seeing C's, everything. I was just that period. I was I was very angry with God to be very honest, and I was just hearing so much. There was so much noise, anxiety, uncertainty. I was like, is it that God does not care about me so much? God does not care about my grades. Why did He allow me to fall sick during my exam? Why did this kind of thing happen to me? Or maybe it's just about me. If I'd read very well, maybe probably during school session. Probably, like, I, I just felt like there was something else I could have done to make the grace better, even though I tried my best to be very honest. And then there was just so much noise, I didn't listen to anybody. Everybody was just talking, I was like, Well, you push to say whatever you want to say. That nah, I don't care, I don't care. I was really pained that period, and then it took me a very long time to heal. I was unwillingly keeping a grudge with God, and to be very honest, it was. It was it was not a, a good situation. I, I so much held on to like my academics, like ah, mm, this is. And then God just started teaching me, taking me through the process that the process that it is not just about this thing. It's not about you and all of that. So that period, so just the noise of defeat, like hey, my life is is done. Now like I have C's and all of that. And it was like be that I brought you from this previous department to this one. And it was just it just kept on reassuring me of his promises. But initially I couldn't hear God's voice. I was just very bitter. There was so much noise, like mm, it's because you did not read very well. Mm-mm, you're not good enough. No, you do not eat very well. If you had eaten, you would not fall sick. Like so many things. And I just started blaming myself and I just I felt in like I I almost slipped into depression. But thank God for God and his reassuring words and then the friends around me just kept on encouraging and all of that but it was it i didn't heal until that point where i was in the presence of god and then it was just like god spoke peace to my heart and it was like all the noise i was hearing before it just came down like what's your problem <laughs> i already told you that the thoughts that i have for you they are of good and not of evil so there's so many times that we worry ourselves a lot and then we we give in to these thoughts of condemnation thoughts of doubt thoughts of guilt on something that you couldn't have changed okay so for example now so i i have a friend who lost her dad because he was very sick and then her mom wasn't around and all of that eventually her dad died and then for a very long time she was not seeing the guilt that she's the one that killed her daddy. How? <laughs> so, like, so many, many funny experiences. Probably, like, um, a situation whereby a family separates. And you as the child, you are blaming yourself. How is that? Like, how? what could you have done? What else could you have done to make this situation better? So, we keep blaming ourselves. No, I should have been a better child. I should have spoken with my daddy. And all of that. And even if you were at fault initially, now that you know, we have to leave the past behind so we can move on. So we have to let go. The voice of fear, the voice of condemnation, the voice of doubt, the voice of guilt, the voice of failures, so loud. The noise of defeat, they just have to be quietened in the presence of God. When we open up our hearts to God, God fills it with his love. 
and that is only when we can hear his voice clearly even in the midst of chaos even when it feels like everything is not happening right okay my family oh my my life oh my sister oh this one that one my academics my finances <laughs> my expenses you know sometimes you know how to complain very well and then god is saying be still and know that i am god so at that point where the devil just wants to distract you by making things happen around you and he just wants you to cry and all of that you know that moment where you're just like Mm-mm, i'll be still and know that he is god my mind is, is at rest because god is my peace so i have joy in the midst of chaos but says that the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will fill your mind it does not say we fill your spirit so meaning that the the mind is a pathway that the devil uses to attack believers he uses to attack everybody so what we do is that we don't give in to those thoughts we lay ourselves bare in the presence of god where we are broken we are vulnerable before god because to be very honest vulnerability is one of the major steps to you healing vulnerability is one of the major steps so sometimes we wish to form ad girl ad girl strong for god if you form it for your friends how you for me for God who already knows what is happening and most times it's just waiting to hear you talk about all of these things so sometimes I feel overwhelmed and then I'm like my friends ask me what's happening what's going on and I'm like hmm, you cannot understand I will tell you probably later and then I just need to go inside my room a room and then shut myself or probably just pray shut myself I don't need to hear whatever anybody's saying and then just pour out my heart to God at least all those thoughts that are in my head let me just talk to god about this this is how i feel this is god is actually our friend so i don't we we should talk to him like we're talking to our friend like our close pal so i'm like ah, you know that i don't have anybody in this world except you why did you allow this thing to happen the reason why you are still abhorring those thoughts is because you've not let them out the reason why you're abhorring those thoughts is because you have not let them out like it is so much inside of you and then you just feel like ah i've gotten to the end of it let it out talk to god about it and then you just feel peace you feel at rest you feel at rest so i'm going to sing the song again and then i just want you to pour out your heart to god in this moment while i sing and then just trust him to fill your heart with peace and heal you and then for for that person that is going through a serious period of depression god is going to be filling you with joy those thoughts of i'm not good enough you need to kill yourself those suicidal thoughts they're going to be silenced right now in the name of jesus speak against every voice of condemnation speak against every voice that is that is speaking suicide that is speaking negativity those voices are silenced in the name of jesus and the voice of jesus the voice of the lord overshadows all those other voices oh silence the noise of my mind lord and open the eyes of my heart i want to see Lord, I want to see you. Silence the noise of my fears, God. Silence the noise of anxieties. Silence the noise of my guilt, God. And open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, Lord. Pour out your power and love as I sing holy, 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 as I sing Father, Father. The Father, as I sing, comfort, 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 
out your hearts to God then wait and listen to what he has to say to you God is wrapping people like he's wrapping you with his love his hands of love like you feel God's presence so strong wrapping you with his love and saying that you are not alone you're not alone you're not alone you're not alone Just stay and listen up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for breaking chains. Thank you for breaking limitations. Thank you for silencing the noise of fears. Thank you for silencing the noise of anxieties. Thank you for healing broken hearts. Thank you for mending hearts. Thank you for for fulfilling our hearts with peace. Thank you for enveloping us with your love. Thank you for your presence, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And as you go for the rest of the month, for the rest of the week, for the rest of the year, and each and every day of your life, be filled with the consciousness that God is ever there. Even when it does not look like it, God is always there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.